Hey everybody, what's going on? Josh here with Scrapyard Films, and today I'm going to be showing you another Magic's Vega 16 Pro tutorial. This time it's how to automatically motion track pictures on your video. So let's get started. I threw in some test footage at 60 FPS so we can track it the best, and I'm going to show you that real fast. It's about 5 seconds long. That doesn't look too bad. Now just a precursor, it's much easier and much less glitchy when you're tracking 60 frames per second footage. If you use anything lower than that, this masking tool can sort of kind of get glitchy every once in a while. First thing we want to do is go to Bezier Masking, which is in the B's. Click it, click the default. We need to make a copy of this real fast. So let's make sure it's ungrouped. Hold control, drag it to the timeline above it. We are going to drag the default on the upper one. And from here, we are going to choose what we want to mask. Let's get the timeline back to the beginning. And I am going to choose this number 150 right here. So let's mute that so we can see where we're at and then drag it on. You want to get this one as close as possible for sure. So go to your mask, drag this open a little bit, go to tracking and click start. Now it's going to track this 150 all the way to the end of this five second clip. Now again, 60 FPS footage is better for sure to use this tool. All right, so let's see what that looks like. That's pretty close. It kind of trails off a little bit towards the end there, but that's perfect. That's okay. Doesn't matter. So next thing you want to do is drag your picture in. I'm going to go ahead and drag in this little snoo from Reddit. <laughs> a little. It's huge. I'm going to go to the crop and shrink it too. So let's undo these. Let's make it 1080p. Now we lock these again. Drag that open. We're going to have it right about... Uh, it's finer for right now. Let's unmute this bottom clip. But then we need to go to the P's next. Go to picture and picture and drag the default on there. You may need to change the scale. I'm going to keep my scale at 1 because I don't need it to shrink. So now the picture is the exact same size as the one I dropped in. But it just has the picture and picture functionality put on it, which is perfectly fine. So now we got a crop. Drag it where we want it. I'm going to put it right here on top of this number. So make sure your marker is back at the beginning and you have the picture positioned where you want it to be. And then we click on the picture, click on the footage, and then we go to tools, scripting, and then we do copy motion track to pip. Now if you don't have this, that's perfectly fine. Vegas just released this script. I'll have a link to it in the description. And all you do is drag and drop it in where Vegas is installed. It has a script menu folder. And once you drop it in there, you rescan the scripts menu folder and it'll pop up right here. So we click it, and now these two are linked. So we do forward. We have successfully automatically motion track pictures. With a little bit of practice, you can make it look perfect, I'm sure. And if this video helped you out, you can help me out by liking, commenting, subscribing, and sharing. Those four ways, if you do all four of those to our videos, they jump up in the list and it helps us become noticed so we can produce more videos for you guys. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.